children of all ages. <laughs> to who would win? We're hero versus hero. Villain versus villain. Anything. I'm your host, Spike on Shiv. We're alive! It's about time to! With a DBZ DC matchup for you today. A two on two. We have the team of Team Hothead, which is Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue. Vegeta versus the Green Machine of Piccolo and Martian Man. Let's go ahead and take it down to the Battle Arena. Now, first of all, from Team Green Machine, we have the Mighty Namek, the Strategist Extraordinaire, Piccolo, and then his tag team partner, the Man from Mars, the last sole survivor of the Martian planet, Martian Manhunter, and their opponents, from Oa, one of the greatest Green Lanterns of all time. A comic book artist. And one who is truly good with light projections. Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern. And his tag team partner. The only Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan to do it all on his own. Vegeta. And here we go, round one. Here we go. And it starts off oh, with a beauty. Piccolo, starting with the tripping off right off the bat. Kyle Rayner seems to be falling behind Hurley in this battle. Piccolo's tripping him again and again. Kyle Rayner still hasn't picked up on this yet. I think that in, in early goings, that Piccolo was trying to keep Kyle Rayner off his feet so that he cannot use those light projections. He's trying to keep his focus. Distracted. As, as many of you know, that's where the power comes from. Is his ability to focus and concentrate or create light projection. So, that's where his power comes from. So, that's what I'm thinking people are doing here in the early going. Holy Wobbuffet! Oh, got him again! Oh, fi finally, Kyle Rayner is starting to mount a counter attack. Oh, and Piccolo hits him with the Hellzone grenade. Oh, and brings him up and drops him down. Piccolo is just dominating people. God, Rain is going to have to get his shit together if he's going to mount a counterattack. Oh, and then again with the beauty. Kai Rayner has no chance at this point. He's got he's to start concentrating. He's got to try to find a way to stop the onslaught from Piccolo. Here we go. There we go, he's starting to launch some rockets at him now. Oh, and he's got Piccolo off his feet. Oh, using the samurai light projection attack. Oh, again, again, again. Oh, he should be shish kebab by now. Ooh, cutting head hitch up like he was in the streets. Oh, we're outside the hyperbolic time chamber now. This is a lookout. Who knows where these bats go? Ooh! Looks like Kyle Rayner's. Oh! And Piccolo drops it! Not the only green man in that, buddy. That was. For that first round, Piccolo pretty much dominated that whole battle. I think this, this next match is gonna be a little more evenly matched here. Oh! And Vegeta goes Super Saiyan God right off the bat. He ain't messing around. He's like, Hit may have got me in the most recent episode of Dragon Ball Super, but you ain't anywhere near his level. Oh, and I'll try to get help from Gohan, but Vegeta blocked that shit. Oh, Gallon Gun Time. Gallon Gun Time right to the face. All up in your face. Oh, and then a swift uppercut by Vegeta again. It's kind of hard to compete with these god-level characters. I mean, what are you really going to do? But Piccolo seems to be holding his own. Oh! Looks like Piccolo's coming back. 
Oh, and Vegeta just ain't having any of that. Get over on your own side of the damn ring so that I can beat the crap. Oh, again with the Hell Zone grenade, but Vegeta is just... That, that God level training, I'm telling you, all that training he's been doing with Whis and Beerus has really been paying off in this bet. And he just fast, quick, lightning strikes, punches and kicks right to Piccolo's face. He just, he's just overwhelmed at this point. That's that God level power, I'm telling you. Not very many people can compete with that type of training. He spent three days in the hyperbolic time. Zone. That's like they put him in three weeks. Like, holy smokes. Oh, Piccolo's coming back. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, Vegeta gets it. Oh, and the shit talk begins from Vegeta. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Now, this should be a pretty good even match here. Martian Manhunter and Vegeta seem to be, I, I would imagine, would be pretty even match. But, you know. Back and forth it goes. Up in the air, to the ground. Oh, and Vegeta goes right off the bat. Super Saiyan God again. I wonder if uh, Martian Manor was paying attention to his attacks. And oh, now we're near the moon. Wow. We're near the moon now. <laughs> I guess that, who knows where these battles go. Oh, it kicks him to the side of the screen. Oh, and Martian Manor ain't having that. Laser vision, bitch! These eyes will burn a hole right through your nose. See, the, the tough part about Martian Manor, he's got that telepathy thing. And he, and he can also go invisible. Well, not invisible, but he becomes pretty much a cape. And I don't know how Vegeta's going to try to counteract that. Oh! What was that? Vegeta almost turned him, uh, turning the explosion outwards away from his body. Evenly maxes the goes. Oh, it's that speed and that quickness. It's giving Vegeta a little bit of an advantage. Here. Mars Manor has got one of the greatest, probably, defense strategies in, in all of family. I don't know how he's going to combat this. Oh, and Vegeta gets him. Oh, that first round goes to Kyle Rayner and Vegeta. Such an unusual team. Interesting to see how these two do as a pair. Oh, here we go. Round two. Kyle Rayner and Piccolo again. Oh, another barrage attack light projection by Kyle Rayner. Oh, and he hits him with the hell of a receiver. This is just like in round one. Piccolo has already taken that early victory right off the bat. <coughs> oh, now we're on Namek. We have, the battle has now moved to Namek, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap. Hold on to your butts, because it's about to get intense. Oh, this, this see, this match is a heck of a lot more evenly matched than the first round. Yeah, the first round was all Piccolo, but this, this battle seems to be more back and forth between Kyle Rayner and Piccolo right here. And once again, Piccolo keeps trying to keep Kyle Rayner off his feet, and Kyle Rayner answers back with the samurai light projection. <laughs> trying to keep that, uh, I would say, martial arts motif going, maybe thinking that maybe a samurai can keep this martial artist known as Piccolo under wraps. Oh, and then he gets him. Oh, boy. Piccolo ain't having any of that. The Green Lantern Corps showed up. What is this? Oh, and they're on an all-out assault on... Oh, my God. All-out assault on Piccolo. All right, we need... Hey, we need to get somebody down there and help him out. What, what is this? This is a four-on-one. Like, he has no chance this is a miscarriage of justice right here. We're trying to have a super battle, two on two, and these guys show. What is this? Come on now. For the love of Christ, come on. Get something to get down there and help him out. They're just going to town on him, beating him like a pinata. Oh, and there goes Piccolo. 
and the onslaught continues suddenly get there and down there and help this guy. The, the, these Green Lanterns are just relentless. Oh, and now the people of Namek have showed up to help him out. Get in there. I think the uh, the Green Lantern Corps, I think they heard about Kyle Rayner getting his ass and, uh, yeah, you know, you know, the Green Lantern Corps, they're, they're a cult, you know, they're like the Marines, they're like the, the Army or, or Sorority, you know, or, or Gardesh, you know, <laughs> they take care of their own, so they're down there and, and they must have seen what was going on and trying to help them out, I don't, I don't know, we'll try to get more information as to what's going on here, but uh, we'll, we'll certainly do our best to keep commentating here. And the Green Lantern Corps just beating the people's magic mercies. Wow. They didn't have a chance. Oh, and it's Goku and Beerus who showed up to the battle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They got a destruction, Beerus. Oh, boy. He's going to attempt to take on the Green Lanterns now. <laughs> this should be good. Boy, I guess uh, somebody's been paying attention to this battle, huh? <laughs> but we're talking about a god of destruction here, so... Oh, Jesus! With one swoop, one blast, takes up the whole Green Lantern Corps! Where did that come from? Oh, and now Beerus is shit top. He, he, you know, for a god of destruction, he throws a hell of a lot of shit. Wait, wait, what, what is this? Now Goku and Vegeta are battling Beerus. Like, how, did, like, how did this go from, from a pickle old Marsh Manhunter to a, a Green Lantern Vegeta? How did... Okay. All right, we're... we're <laughs> we seem to be having uh, uh, technical difficulties here. <laughs> Not quite sure what's going on. Well, Vegeta and Goku seem to be putting up a decent fight against the God of Destruction. Well, I guess it's all that hyperbolic time chamber training and all that training they've been doing on Beerus' plan. It must be paying off here. Oh, and they're both trying to surround Lord Beerus. Trying to surround him. Oh, and he retaliates back to show why he is the God of Destruction. He ain't messing around now. We let you get your licks in while you can. Now he's about to put you down. Oh, beating them both at once. One free. <laughs> One saying for each fist, I suppose. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, Beerus just beat the crap out of both of them. Oh, Goku and Vegeta are doing the fusion. Oh, shit. Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. What is this? What is this? Uh-oh. Beerus is letting that onslaught attack come out now. What the hell? What is what are they doing to the planet Namek? Oh my gosh, most of the planet is near destroyed in burning and burning ash and rubble. What is this? Come on. If you guys are gonna fight like this, take this somewhere else. Serious. What is this? Oh god. Oh, and it looks like Weezer showed up to take care of them. <laughs> and he's restored the planet, man. <laughs> wow. Well, it <laughs> Wow. Okay, so... <laughs> so at the end of the match there, uh, in case it went a little fast, uh, I'm getting reports now. Uh, it looks like... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Well, it appears to be that while Vegeta, or Gogeta, was fighting Beerus, we showed up to uh, kind of handle things and get them out of the battle. So, our winner for the day is Martian Manhunter. <laughs> like I said, you never know what's going to happen here at Who Would Win, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm your host, Spike Von Shadow. See you next time on Who Would Win.